hospitals can be a breeding ground for germs. And that's why there's a front line of experts to keep bugs from spreading. Infection control professionals work in healthcare locations like hospitals and clinics, where they guard patients, coworkers, and visitors against the spread of infection. These problem solvers rely on a healthy dose of teamwork. If you're not immune to learning more, check out this video where we talk to an infection control professional in Alberta who put a bug in our ear about this emerging occupation. Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm an infection control professional. An infection control professional, or ICP, are healthcare professionals who protect the patient, the staff, and visitors and minimize the spread of infection. Someone who's an infection control professional may work in a hospital, they might work in continuing care, they could work in public health, they could work um, with EMS. So I'm Nicole from Infection Control, just doing our surgical surveillance. My working environment in this hospital is very fast paced. It's a very busy hospital, a large hospital. So there are a lot of different needs for infection control here. The first thing that I do every day is we get a printout of labs. So this is sent to us from the lab at the hospital and I go through the results from people's blood work or screening and from there I'll determine is this an infection, is it not, was it acquired in the hospital or not. We may have to enter it into our provincial database. We may also have to determine if there's an outbreak. If there's two or more people who've acquired the same illness on a unit at any given time, that would be considered an outbreak. Hi, it's Nicole from Infection Control. In terms of tools and equipment, it's really our computers or our phones. And then the other tool is just ourselves, building relationships with our stakeholders and developing those relationships with people. Okay, thank you. Of course, hand hygiene never gets old. So that's the topic of today's presentation. But today we might work with other educators. We also work collaboratively with um, program managers and construction groups. We work with physicians, we work with leaders and administrators to help come up with policies or best practice guidelines. Or if we see something or we learn of something that may be considered a breach, how can we make it better and what's the risk to the patient? Just going to help you walk through um, sure. putting on your PPE for the contact and droplet sign. Depending on the infection, we would often go to the unit and educate the staff, make sure that Everybody is doing really good hand hygiene. That's the most important thing that we can do to prevent infections in the hospital. Sometimes we have far distances to walk if you cover a large area or a large hospital. We also spend a lot of time sitting at our computer, so it's very important um, that we keep good health. There's always plenty of emails to go through, phone calls to answer. On any given day, any one of us in the office would be on call, so then we would be responsible for answering all the questions that come to this office throughout the hospital. This last positive wasn't more than 90 days ago. In terms of education to become an infection control professional, you need to have a health-related degree. So for example, I have a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. There are others who have a Bachelor of Science in Medical Microbiology or Lab Medicine or Public Health. We have um, health inspectors who work as infection control professionals as well. We do this on every kid. Who Everything I've learned about infection control has pretty much been on the job. Whether it was my job before as a bedside nurse and then I carried that through to here or I've just learned through experience. Uh, did you want to go in and see? Yeah, I would love to. Okay, that would great. Be great. If you are very outgoing and you love talking to people, it's perfect for you. If you're not so outgoing, you like working behind the scenes a little bit more, there's a role for somebody like that in infection control as well. In terms of work-life balance, it's a career path that actually allows me to have that. There's nothing overly stressful that is gonna keep me up at night and, and worry. Personally, I, I know that I can leave my work and then balance my life, and my work is all still here when I come back the very next morning to just pick up. There's definitely been a lot of doors that have opened up for me in terms of leadership, education, and working with so many other people in healthcare that I never would have otherwise had a chance to meet. At the end of the day, the most rewarding part for me as an infection control professional is just knowing that I've somehow, in some little way, made the experience better for a patient. Infection control professionals break out of the mold to prevent or stop an outbreak. Find out more about this occupation, including educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the ALICE website. 
and learn about related occupations like registered nurse and sterile processing technician. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.